When I was 17 years old, my face looked like this. Good morning, Sam. It is Friday, March 26, 2021. Today I wanted to give a how-to video that's rather personal, and that is my experience with acne and how I solved my severe cystic acne without using Accutane. If you don't know, it's a very powerful drug that a lot of people use, but I never used it, and I was actually able to solve some of the worst acne that most of the dermatologists and doctors that I saw said that they'd ever seen. When I was a kid, when I was a teenager, very normal skin. Occasionally, I'd get a couple pimples here and there. The summer after I turned 17, though, things took a turn for the absolute worst, and my face just completely exploded. I don't know precisely what happened, it seems like it was probably mostly hormonal, but over the course of the summer, it went from, oh, this is a little bit worse than usual to, oh my goodness, this is really bad. And then every day getting worse than that without getting any better. So I tried to get in to see a dermatologist. There wasn't one available. And so I ended up just seeing my family doctor who prescribed an antibiotic called doxycycline and a retinoid cream to use on my skin daily. Now at this point, I was really struggling with this. I mean, it was the first thing that I thought about when I woke up in the morning. It was the last thing I thought about before I went to bed. I was completely self-conscious about it. I didn't want to go out of the house. I just felt completely and totally hideous. I felt ugly. All that I wanted to do was to solve this problem. I just wanted it gone. And I was really willing to go kind of to the end of the earth, but because I wasn't able to see a dermatologist and I wasn't able to see someone that would prescribe me sort of these heavier, drugs that were supposed to take care of it rather rapidly. I had to work with what I had. So I was put on the doxycycline and I was put on this retinoid cream and I started using these for a couple of weeks. And what I noticed almost immediately is that it started getting worse. And in the research that I had been doing surrounding this, that's actually part of the process. When you go on these antibiotics, it actually makes it worse before it makes it better. This just continued to absolutely enraged me. I feel like there was nothing I could do. I felt like I wasn't in control of my skin. I wasn't in control of my body. So I decided that I needed to take measures extremely seriously. I needed to do everything within my power to take care of this thing. Now, I was a vegetarian at the time, but I had read online that there were possible links between dairy consumption and acne, so I eliminated dairy from my diet. I read that there were potentially some links between sugar consumption and, and breakouts sugar immediately was gone. I started exercising as much as I possibly could. I was simply trying to push it out of my system. I felt like if I physically exerted myself as hard as I could, that maybe, perhaps, possibly, I could get rid of this thing that was absolutely tormenting me. Over time, it started to get better. After about eight weeks, I began to see the inflammation start to go down. The actual breakout stopped almost entirely, and my skin became covered in what was considered hyperpigmentation, which was essentially minor scarring on the surface of the skin from those breakouts. So I started buying, buying creams and different products that I could put on my skin to try and lighten that hyperpigmentation, to try to get it back to normal. But even now, even to this day, I still find myself completely paranoid about my skin, about what's gonna happen to it concerned that this will happen again. I change my pillowcases every night so there's no old bacteria collecting and touching my skin. If you're going through this right now or you have any questions, I would love to talk. I've done a ton of research and bought almost every product that they sell in CVS and tried it on myself. And if you know someone who's going through this, let them know how beautiful and amazing they are because I know that they don't feel that way. Sam, everyone, thank you for watching. I'll see you on Monday.